Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. I'm going to say that again because I'm so glad about it. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the day that the Lord have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Y'all, I'm Elder Corey Mobley, and I'm so glad to be here today. I'm glad to be back in, in worship, back in the house of the Lord. I'm glad to be here and praying with you. Y'all, prayer is our avenue up to God, and, and it's our sure way of communicating with the Father. Y'all, this is True Vision Church. I'm Elder Corey Mobley. I'm so glad to be here. Do me a favor, like this video, share this video, comment during this prayer time, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already, and follow us, follow us, follow us on Facebook. Y'all, what is your I am statement? I'm essentially asking how you're doing today. So what is your I am statement? I myself, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be back in the land of the living just one more time. I'm glad to be back in the house of the Lord once again. And I want to know your I am statement. Type that in right now. Let that be one of the first comments that you say after you say hello, after you say Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. After you type as he is, he is risen indeed, tell me your I am statement. And then after you type that, the very next thing needs to be name one thing that the Lord has done for you today. Name one thing God did for you today. Not what he did yesterday. Not what he did yesterday. Yesterday's gone. Not what he's going to do tomorrow, what he hope, what you hope he does tomorrow. But what did he do for you today? Y'all listen, devotional time. Our devotional reading today is titled, The Power in Forgiveness. How appropriate is that? The Power in Forgiveness. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 21. The Power in Forgiveness. And today's prayer topic is racial reconciliation. Racial reconciliation reconciliation but first we're going to pray the Lord's prayer and then we'll do our prayer topic we'll lead it I'll lead us into prayer about our prayer topic today and but let's start off as always by reading scripture again it's Romans chapter 12 verse 21 and it simply says this do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good somebody say amen somebody say amen how appropriate is that as our prayer topic on today, let's start off reading or, or reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Heavenly Father, most gracious Master, thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Thank you for food on our table, clothes on our back. Lord, thank you for family and friends and loved ones. Thank you for healing and protecting. Thank you, God. Thank you for working things out for our good. Thank you, God. But Lord, our prayer topic today is one that we shouldn't have to be still praying for. Here it is, 2021, and we're still asking that racial reconciliation happen. That one race to at least be cordial and accepting of another race. So Lord, I ask you to touch anyone whose heart has been hardened towards the color of someone's skin. Soften it today. Let them ask you for forgiveness and move forward. Loving one another. Treating each other as equals. But Father, I think the government has some influence on this. Because this government, this government here in the United States is, still hasn't accepted their role in continuing this racial divide. So Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that our politicians stop playing with race, that our government leaders stop playing with race. And Father, I ask you to soften their hearts and turn this nation that claims to be a Christian nation, turn this nation's attention from themselves to, to, to loving each other, being cordial and equal to one another. Lord, the slavery that did exist and that that still exists, the, the, the divide that still exists between races, Father, help that to be eliminated. 
help the treatment of one race not to be better than the treatment of another race simply because of skin color. Help the, those that, uh, young people and, and some old alike not to, not to hate their own skin color, but to accept that God made us this way. God blessed each one of us to, to have our own uniqueness and our own, our own, our own shades of pigment. And, 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 and that has nothing to do with the heart of man. The heart can truly change in people. Oh God, Lord, let this nation, as we talk about forgiveness, forgive itself for spending so many years and, and kidnapping and enslaving a group of people. Father, if there is any kind of reparation that needs to be made, any kind of financial restitution that needs to be made, we ask that it happen, O oh Lord, equally among the people, not the race, Father. Lord, I thank you that when we lift up our petitions to you, we lift up our prayer to you, that you receive it with a glad heart, you receive it. You change it. And you, you, you work things out. And you, 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 you look beyond our faults and you change uh, uh, our ways and you change our minds and change our mindset. So Lord, we ask you to help us to forgive so your miraculous plan can be accomplished. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. You have been good to us, oh Lord. You really have. So this, this racial divide is, is, is not of you. So Lord, if it be your will, let it happen today, starting today, that race no longer be a deciding factor for anyone. All of this we pray in the mighty, the majestic name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah and amen. 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 Listen, we thank you, True Vision, for joining us as you always do at 12 o'clock noon. God bless you. God keep you until we come back together again. We come back together again tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon and this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. for the rewind of this. God bless. Peace.